Hi everyone, first of all, thanks for all of your support and for subscribing if you've already done so. As a token of my appreciation and to celebrate reaching 1,000 more subscribers than I expected to, I'm giving away a watch. To be in with a chance of winning, stick around to the end to find out all the details. Okay, now for just one more San Martin. If you haven't seen a video on a San Martin watch, then can you tell me what it's like to live under that rock? These things are everywhere. They're the opposite of PS5s. You know somebody with one or two or three of them, and it's easy to understand why. The finishing is simply outrageous for what you'll pay. On that, full disclosure, I got a discount on this from San Martin, but that'll play no part whatsoever in my opinion on this watch. Whenever people say they bonded with their watch, I assume they mean that they finally took it with them to the local S&M club. However, I might be starting to get what they mean now. I tend not to anthropomorphise objects, but after 18 months of only seeing immediate family, I'm starting to see why people might try and have a conversation with their Casio. I recently took this San Martin SN019G away with me for a short break. If I'm honest, I didn't want to like this watch because I haven't liked other Submariner homages that I've tried, and so this bringing me even a sliver of joy as it played the hits, so to speak, Cyclops and all, was a welcome surprise. Some might feel this is just another Rolex Submariner homage. If that doesn't put you off though, this might be as close as you can get to a 2021 Rolex sub without waiting on a list longer than the post-Brexit passport control queue. I'll say this from the off, of the 5 or 6 Submariner homages I've handled, this is the best yet. The finishing is superb. When I first saw the brushing on the clasp, I checked my online banking to make sure I'd paid less than a grand. More on that clasp a little later. I'll put the specs up on screen now just so there's some context to the comments that I make regarding the size of this watch in relation to my just over 6 inch wrists. For me, the 41.4mm diameter makes this a bit of a beast on the wrist, and 2mm bigger than I usually go for, which is what your mum said the first time we saw each other undressed. It's not unwieldy though, again, another quote from that infamous meeting, and you'll be able to pull this off as long as your wrist is above 6 inches. Okay, is that enough double entendre for one video? The wearability is helped in no small part by the welcome 48.7mm lug to lug measurement and the tapering of the bracelet from 21mm at the lugs to 15.5mm and back up to 18mm at the clasp, making it look suitably refined on the wrist. Having reviewed San Martin's Black Bay homage and been slightly perturbed by some of its sharper edges, it was a welcome surprise to see the level of finishing on the SN019G is back to what we've come to expect from the brand. High quality, nearly flawless finishing, with no sharp edges whatsoever, and using stainless steel so shimmery that it almost blends in with my haunted Count Dracula complexion. Now let's get our teeth into the movement. And if you were torn between forking out for this, or saving some of those hard earned pennies, and getting San Martin standard 40mm sub homage, which is equipped with the venerable Seiko NH35, then perhaps this high beat PT5000 movement power in the SN019G might swing it for you. I'm not sure it's worth another £100 if I'm honest, but my experience with the two examples I've had has been nothing but positive. Speaking of positive, just listen to this bezel action. It's clicky, crisp, the resistance is fantastic with the perfect amount of give and no backplay. The closest I've felt to a 120 click unidirectional bezel this good was on a Rolex Sea Dweller. This watch costs roughly £9,000 less. Make of that what you will. I'm not saying that this measures up to that before you threaten to kill me in the comments, but the bezel gets extremely close even if nothing else does. It lines up perfectly. Though like the cretin I am, I have filmed some of this footage with it misaligned, but please don't let that affect your judgement of the watch, but rather just as another example of my many failings. Anyway, bravo San Martin. And don't worry, generous doses of BGW9 
isn't me describing some new coronavirus variant, but rather an apposite way to mention the now expectedly brilliant loom. It glows bright blue just as a submariner would, and looks suitably impressive in dark lighting, which is also why I myself insist on dimly lit restaurants anytime people want to socialise with me. Spoiler alert, that's not much. Unfortunately, there are a couple of things that hold this watch back. You see, it could be the perfect Submariner homage. And this is where the title of the video comes from, I suppose. This tries so hard to mimic the most recent iteration of the Submariner that it could actually be to its detriment. Although I really like how this looks on my wrist, I think the fact that this is closer to 41 as opposed to 40 millimeters is something that they didn't need to do. The 2021 Submariner itself, as many have pointed out, is actually only slightly above 40 millimeters. And this SN019G is bigger than the stated 41 millimeters. It's not a deal breaker though, but having said that, if you've got a lot of 20 millimeter straps and like to change it up, these 21 millimeter lugs might be a deal breaker. Honestly, this just seems like the worst aspect of the original to pay homage to. Like trying to emulate Barack Obama's progress on free healthcare by carrying out a drone strike on a hospital in Pakistan. They've also replicated Rolex's glide lock clasp, so you can adjust the bracelet on the fly, which would have been amazing where I filmed a lot of this footage, as I was flip-flopping like a Tory front bencher, my wrist swelling and shrinking as I did so. Unfortunately, the example I have here just doesn't stay in place. It defaults to the loosest position, even after I try locking it in place. I contacted San Martin about this, and they have sent a replacement, but unfortunately, the problem persists. I'd honestly be happier with their standard clasp, and maybe have a few quid shaved off the price. As Mark Kermode said whilst discussing Jason and the Argonauts, let's talk about that Cyclops. Even Rolex riles some of their most ardent admirers with their iconic Cyclops date magnifier. It's like Marmite, only I'd rather eat tiny shards of this sapphire crystal than have that yeasty dog shit spread on my toast. I'm firmly in the four camp when it comes to the Cyclops, and think it actually adds to the whole look of a Rolex. A Rolex without a Cyclops is like a Brexiteer, not prefacing everything they say with, I'm not racist, but. However, when I've handled homages, the Cyclops always appears to be where they've cut the costs. Thankfully, that doesn't seem to be the case here. It clearly magnifies the date to 2.5 times the size. The font of the date wheel of the PT5000 doesn't exactly exude sophistication, though I'll accept that that's subjective. But what does let the Cyclops down here is the blue anti-reflective coating. Nobody can match Rolex's clear AR. Their Cyclopses are as pristine as a Clearasil model's face. But with the San Martin, the blue AR means there's always that hue on the crystal, reflecting light in an obfuscating way, and ultimately obscuring the date, thus rendering the whole thing redundant anyway. That's something I hope San Martin improve going forward. After all, this is about getting that sense of having a Rolex on your wrist. And nothing does that quite like figuring out how close the end of the month is as you thrash about nonchalantly in the Mediterranean Sea as the world burns uncontrollably. If you can get over those quirks and you're as skint as I am whilst also perpetually pining after a sub, then this might be just what you're after. Your reward for getting this far into the video is that San Martin have provided my viewers with a discount code. Check the description below for the details. If you didn't watch all the way up to here and just jump to the description for that discount, you can't hear me now, but you're a thieving bastard. Oh, and more freebies now. I promised that if I reached 1,000 subscribers, I'd be giving away a watch, and I reached that number last week, so I'm staying true to my word. The watch in question is a metaphorical one, and in a sense, you've already won it. No, I I'm joking. It's this. It's the San Martin Black Bay Homage. To be in with a chance of winning, simply subscribe and comment on this video with the words No More Politics and I'll choose a winner at random and announce it in my next video which will be next Friday the 1st of October 2021. Thanks so much for watching, good luck with the giveaway and I'll see you next time.